the Hamptons and we just finished the shoot for the cover of Allure magazine for November, I believe. <laughs> had a beautiful white Nina Ricci dress that was very drapey and flowy so you can move well. And I always love the contrast of sweaters on the beach, you know, like cozy sweaters. So I, I generally, my time at the beach is in the evening or in the morning, so I always think nice cozy sweaters. I think the, the scariest thing about doing this movie is going into it, I felt everybody's going to jump to these comparisons of the way I look versus the way she looks. And I just kind of had to trust the script because I, I spoke to some people that really truly knew her and, and what I learned from those people it seemed to match up well with what was in the script. Diana's style is something that we all remember well. You didn't expect those kind of people to have such a flair for fashion as she did. And, and she did, although it was very tasteful, but, you know, a little bit risque at times. One shoulder dresses, for instance, and actually one of the dresses I wore of hers, the one she actually wore, and I was surprised how short it was. My beauty icon, um, Meryl Streep, you know, she's just a real person with um, a real face and just incredible skin. And, um, and of course her work continues to aspire. I mean, I try creams and stuff, but I, I think there's no avoiding aging. It's just part of what we're all gonna have to go through and try my best to be as graceful <laughs> about it as possible. Sleep is the best thing and laughter and happiness and you know peace of mind, I think, is the greatest thing. But you can't buy that. <laughs> it's not available on the shelf.